Hello and welcome back to the channel. Wombat here with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, I'm currently on the beach down by the outpost, um, just working on a wall, our new structure here. I'd like to start this episode by saying I apologize. I have not had any videos, video, new videos up the last couple days. Uh, oh, one sec. Uh, this guy Anyways, uh, I haven't had any videos up, new videos up the last couple days because it's been extremely hot where I'm at. Uh, you're probably wondering what that has to do with making YouTube videos. My PC runs very, very well on a normal basis, um, but I have, I live in a very old house that has no AC, so if it's hot outside, it's even hotter inside, and it's been running 95 degrees plus and every time I tried to run the game and the video recording software it would uh, it would overheat my GPU and I did not want to burn out another GPU I've done that already in the past so I went ahead and just put a hold to my videoing I did make a lot of progress in the game though so we'll start by going over that uh, this gate I built earlier this is going to be a very large structure encompassing a good portion of the beach uh, we're going to use that for some dinos that we are planning to tame Specifically, I'm going to try to tame one second. One of these guys. I'm going to try to tame one or two mammoths today if I can. Um, these guys are great for gathering wood. I mentioned that in my it last video. Cool. Oh, well, well. You hear Elmnog right now in the video. Elmnog, say hello to the viewers. Hey. <laughs> hey Alright, I'm, I'm continuing on. I'll be back. Uh, we have a couple. Oh, monkey, get... Tame the monkey. Tame it. He's level 72, man. It takes so many... Uh, take, take the time. They're worth it. Anyway, I, I would definitely want one of those little guys. These little guys are great. Uh, they, stay, they sit on your shoulder, walk around with you, and you can even make them fling poo at people, which is just great. Ooh. <laughs> Got a Dod Dodacurus, level 28. Ooh, another female. Ooh, one sec. We have a male, and the females will lay eggs, so we might actually tame this. I don't know. We'll, and that's a good color, too. I like the color. I'm getting extremely sidetracked here. Um, what was I saying? Ah, yes. Yeah, so this is going to house our mammoths. I want to get one or two if possible. Um, and then we're going to move most of our dinosaurs down here from the outpost. And... I mean, you've seen how cramped it is up there, but I did get the new addition finished. Can't, not really sure if you could tell from here. There you go. That's the new addition. Ooh, I'm gonna die of dehydration if I don't get some water. So let me do that. And that's another one we just tamed. That's Apples Jr. Because if you remember one from one of my first videos, we had an Anklio named Apples, and Apples got killed. So finally replaced Apples water if I can get around these guys. We did get another Dodicurus. Uh, the first one we got was named Roly Poly. When we got the second one, the female, we changed the names. One is Roly and one is Poly. We figured it was fitting. Uh, also got Doc here. These guys are amazing. Uh, one that flies and carries a, a whole lot of weight is always, always a plus. So, ooh, and he's about ready to level two. I'll come back in a minute and get that. Um, can't really see the name very well. Okay, two Bob from Wombat. That's this Pteranodon. I um, I logged off the other night and I had d uh, Dopey inside here in the outpost. And the next morning when I logged on, he was gone, just completely gone. I assume that he glitched through the wall and probably got killed outside. So later on that day, I was using Bob's bird and uh, I stopped at one of the purple airdrops. And as I was grabbing the airdrop, the T Rex killed my killed his bird so I had to replace his bird I got this tamed up yesterday he hasn't been on I didn't want to name it so I just wanted him to know that's his bird we did get a scorpion this one looks really cool too it's m like a bunch of different colors it's got the black and tan red and black green and tan and black I don't know we like that one and then we got our Carno this is Queen Carnage Sky harvests meat so fast. Alright, and this is the addition moving on. Uh, we did get this whole thing finished up. Alright, so looking around, 
We have all of these are player chests, so each person can have their own chest out here. I've got two mortar and pestles, cooking pot, two, two, two campfires, three preservation bins, and five forges. We buy a lot of stuff with metal because of where we are. We have a lot of metal. Uh, that's our best resource for buying things from people, trading. So setting up five forges allows us to get a lot of metal done really, really quick if we need to. Moving on up, we've got our, our smithy, and I left enough room here because I intend to put the fabricator right here. I will probably add another level of ceiling right here to put the generator on, and then we'll just, well, I don't know. We don't even really technically need the generator for the fabricator, you just put gas in it, but we are going to move some other things in here too. All right, moving on, uh, this is specifically for coal, charcoal only, because I've been making gunpowder. Uh, the more charcoal I have, the more gunpowder I can make. All of our bins labeled. Now those two Dodacurus, Roly and Poli, me and Gray came through yesterday, and in an hour or two, we filled up both of these bins completely with stone. Uh, we got like 6,000 stone in no time. And the Anklio can do the same thing for flint, and it's also really good for metal, which is why I've got metal. But I'm not going to go into that. All right, then we got our beds up here. Still going to add one or two more. No one touched the metal in the porch. No, oh, got it. He has to say that because some people will trade the metal <clears throat> if they see it. Geo. <clears throat> yeah, now you're going to watch this, Geo. You trade all our metal. You need to stop. All right, uh, I did destroy part of the ceiling that was holding the generator up there. Um, I'm not going to destroy the rest of it until I can replace the generator and AC. So once we get the other structure built, we're going to move all these dinosaurs down there. And then in this room, uh, we're going to put in eventually an oven and refrigerator and a couple of other items that'll, that'll be good to help us get some things done. All right, so that's it here. Um, let's take a ride back. If I can get my bird, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be very, very tricky. Uh... Getting this guy in and out of here is a real pain, which is why I'm building the other area down there. These dinosaurs get in the way too much. You stay there. And people don't know how to park very well, so they just throw them in wherever they'll go. And then they're in the way of everything else. Uh, this guy never stays still, so he's always in the way. Can't move. Tail's in the way. Alright. Uh, I need to change directions. You get off this one to the right, so I would get stuck between him and the wall. Alright, off. And let's try now. No. Two Bob from Wombat is now in the way. <sighs> this is the dance I have to do every time I want to get a bird or anything out. I've got to move everything around. Huge pain. Hey, Doc's ready to level. Whew, let's see if I can get through the door now. The doors are actually too small for the wingspan on this one, so you can see it's kind of glitchy. It takes a bit to angle yourself out. Eventually I'll get through. I have this trouble every time I come in and out of here. But I, I kind of need this bird here from time to time because I can carry things back and forth that my other bird can't. The pteranodon just does not have the carry weight. And I'll show you that. But this guy... Stop moving so I can get on. There we go. Alright, so this guy currently... Add some more stamina. This guy currently has 442 carry weight. Uh, we'll go back to the main base. I'll show you some stuff there. And I'll show you the other bird. Um, I did finally tame another Pteranodon since I lost Dopey Jr. Now we have Dopey the Third. Dopey the Third. I do not want to lose. It has not been a fun couple days losing dinosaurs left and right, but we did get a lot of progress done, obviously. You saw the outpost. Uh, that's a huge, huge upgrade, and it makes things so much easier now. We have the space to move around and work and not trip over dinosaurs every time we try to do something, except when we try to get dinosaurs in and out, then, then it's an issue. But that will soon be rectified. Um, and that's the reason we want to purchase the Mammoth, is because we've already got the Stone Gatherer, we've got a Stego for Flint, or excuse me, for uh, Thatch. Now if we get one that can gather wood efficiently, we can build that new 
uh, building for the other dinosaurs very, very quickly. It's not actually going to be a building because it's not going to have a top. Uh, it's going to be more similar to our home base where it's just the, the, the giant wall of behemoth gates, except it's just going to be the one, maybe two behemoth gates, and then the rest will just be walls. It's actually um, a bit cheaper resource-wise to build the walls as a fence than it is to actually build those behemoth gates, so that's the route we're going to take. Um, we almost got a T-Rex yesterday, but that trade fell through. Um, it was disappointing. We were going to trade one of our trikes and some metal ingots for a, uh, a Rex, and they, we needed to gather the, the metal, so we told the guy, hey, we need to gather the metal. He's like, okay, well, I'll, I'll just do the trade when I get on tomorrow. And the next day when he logged on, I hit him up, and uh, apparently somebody in his tribe had already tamed a Rex while he was offline, so they didn't want it anymore. Uh, it's still a possibility, because um, I, I found they do have a male trike now, so I'm going to see if they want the female trike and the, the metal ingots as originally promised, because they do also need, you know, they, they trade for eggs a lot, they get eggs from other people. Um, so hopefully they'll want to be able to get eggs from the trikes. If they do, I might actually still be able to get the Rex. In which case, we'll probably park that one at main base for now. Um, at least until we get the other structure built. Uh, same thing with the Mammoth. We might, if we get it, because I want to try to tame it today. Ooh, this is a good looking Bronto. Man, I want to tame that. Look at the color. It's almost camouflage. Tan and green. That's interesting. That's the first time I've seen this, this color on a, on a Bronto. Can't even tell what level he is. Alright, hold on. I gotta see what level he is. I wanna know. Man, he's too big. I gotta get away from him, though. Get a little bit out of here. Turn around. Get out my spyglass. That'll tell me. 32. Hmm. That's a good looking Bronto. Ah. Uh, all right. Anyways, moving on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to trade for some kibble today and tame a mammoth. If I do, I'll probably just hold the uh, end of this video until after that, so that I can have the mammoth and again, hopefully the T-Rex as well in this video. Uh, but we will see. So Yobi's been working very, 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 very hard out here. This is the building we were working on to do the vault inside of. Um, what he's going to do is add this, finish adding this last level of walls, and then we're going to put the roof on. We're going to tear out this entire floor and put it one more up, connect this with the other building, right there. Yeah, okay. Of course Doc pooped. Doc always poops, especially on video, because we need this one higher actually put the vault in because it's four high yeah they put it a little too low so that's what we're gonna do to fix that we're just gonna move this up one level and add another level and then throw the roof on and we'll be done and then we can just start getting the resources for the vaults which I'm sure are very very high I don't know yet all right so I'm coming back here also not just to show you that but to look for something very specific ah here's one eggs eggs are a commodity uh, they are a resource. You can trade for them because they're needed to make kibble, and the different types of kibble made from different eggs are used to tame dinosaurs quicker. Um, it can drastically change the amount of time you spend. This is the new. No, that's flyaway. Where is. Ah, here's Dopey the Third. Dopey the Third. I like the color scheme on this one. This is nice. It's a good combo. So I was going to tell you the difference, oh, wrong button, the difference between the carry weight on these two birds. So they're similar level, we've got this one at 23 and Doc at 25, and this one has only 159 carry weight, while Doc has 442, so more than double, almost two and a half times what Dopey here has, and that's not because of the way I've leveled them, uh, I do typically put stamina on pteranodons and for this guy I've been mixing it up I put a little bit of stamina mainly because I want to get him to where he can go all the way across from here to the outpost without stopping 
Uh, then I put a little bit into carry weight as well. And then I'll just be putting everything into carry weight. I did see a guy the other day who managed to put 700 metal ingots on his Argentavis and still ride on it, and it wasn't over encumbered. So that's uh, that's pretty crazy. I definitely want to get Doc to be able to do that. That'll be good for trading. Hey, another egg. Eggs are great. Not going to make an omelet from it. We will make kibble, though. All right, moving around a little bit more. Is there anything new? Uh, oh, yes, there are a few new things over here. Check my dilos. These guys. Oh, see, there's the monkey. There's the monkey. We have one, but that belongs to Geo, and I don't mess with it. All right, so this is what's new. Scorpions. We got two scorpions here as well. Now, the other one over there I showed you, but these guys are great. Uh, as far as I know, they're the only creature in Ark that can do this. Turn while not moving. You can do a complete 360. Uh, doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you're <laughs> in the outpost in a cramped space, see this guy? He's got to move to turn. Otherwise, he doesn't turn. Yeah, they're the only ones. I do not want to do the lamp. Why does the lamp post have admin rights? Okay, whatever. Um, I'm not sure whose saber this is. Oh, it's Yobi's. Oh, this is the new one. Okay, this is the one he just tamed earlier. Uh, he tamed two yesterday, and both got killed. One yesterday, and then one today. So, he's been taming this one. Whoa! This is the first time I've ridden a saber. I did not realize they could jump like that. Holy cow. Let's do that again. That was not a glitch. Was it? Was it a glitch? Oh, man. I guess it was because he was coming off that hill there. I don't know. Let's try again. Maybe it is... Fla I don't know. Wow! Okay, I'm sorry. I am very amused by this right now. I haven't seen a dinosaur that can jump like that yet. Alright, he's out of stamina. I'll leave him alone. That's not food. Okay. Alright, um... What else? Is there anything new here other than that? I don't think so. Other than Geo randomly painting things blue, like my door, I'm not happy about that. I did not want my door blue, Geo. Do not paint my house anymore. I really hope you watch this video. Alright, uh, see, I've got some eggs of my own. Uh, yeah, not much has really changed here. I've been working on the outposts. Um, I do have a couple hundred metal. That's, uh, that was for a trade that I'm hoping will still happen. That's for the T-Rex. Trike in 250 metal for a T-Rex. It might sound kind of steep when you take into account the T-Rex has 500% melee damage. He can destroy pretty much anything in his path. Uh, it's well worth it. Kill a couple of dilos here. I need some meat. I'm hungry. Doc's hungry. Ooh. Aww. He had something in his inventory and I killed I Dang. I always do that. One second. I want to know what he needs 25 walls for. Hmm. Alright. Um, let's see if I have any berries here for myself. No. Alright, well, I'll give Doc this meat and then I'll go grab some berries real quick. Uh, he's going to eat that up real quick, but before I do, I'm going to go run and put these uh, dodo eggs up before I forget. Any more dodo? No, I don't want poo, I want eggs. Damn dodo. Well, really? You too? Me? That was me. Um, trying to remember the code here. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, uh, so this is our eggs. We actually just did a trade and got rid of some eggs that way, and we still have quite a bit. See, this is the kibble I need um, for the mammoth, but you can see we don't have that much. Oh, wait. No, that's dodo kibble. Dodo kibble? Who got dodo kibble? Uh, whatever. Dodo kibble would have been great when I was taming that pteranodon. Didn't know it was out here. 
Yobi's probably not wanting to tell me. He's probably going to use it himself. <laughs> but I can't really get mad about that because he is the one who does all of our crop planting. Which, you know, you have to plant stuff to be able to make the kibble. So until I get mine up, I'm not really going to stress out about that. Um, I do need to trade my eggs or use them soon, though, because they are going to spoil over time. Still have uh, quite a bit of time, but... Alright, no more eggs. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take Stego my Ego out for a spin. Turn. Turn. He's, he's stuck on the saber tooth. I'm going to come out here and get some berries, because berries are going to keep me alive. I don't feel like going and killing things and waiting for the meat to cook. I'll just take a couple tail swipes, get a whole bunch of berries, and then uh, be on my way. This is great. He's very efficient. That's over 100 berries in one tail swipe. So, uh, And this is great for when I need narcotics because he gets a bunch of narco berries. You can see he's already up to about 100 narco berries. And you need five per narcotic. So if I'm getting ready to tame, I will come out here and use Stego to get uh, narcotic or narco berries. All right, and on that note, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Um, and I'm going to find out what's going on with these trades hopefully soon if, uh, if he gets online. And then I will be back to either end the video with some sort of accomplishment or, which I haven't decided yet, or... Um, to showcase our two new dinosaurs that I want to get, a mammoth and a rex. Anyway, see you soon. And we're back. And I sound kind of depressed because, well, I, I tamed a mammoth and uh, I was very, very close to the outpost where I tamed it. Um, Less than two minutes after I tamed it, trying to get it back to the outpost, it got attacked by a swarm of about 25 of the ants and bugs. Manny the Mammoth lasted all of two minutes as my tame. And, as you can see Doc, nice and injured, they got Doc all the way down to, it was like 105 health when I got him out of there. So, I wasted a lot of time and a lot of eggs on a tame that lasted two minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Um, and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with another better ending episode. We'll see. Anyways, hope to see you guys again. Have a great day. Just kidding. That was not the end of the video. It was going to be, actually. And then I ended up getting the trade for Alpha. <laughs> dark. I'm sorry. Uh, let me light a torch. Maybe that'll help. Kinda. A little bit. Yeah. That's alpha. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show that off um, on the video. Since I didn't want to end on a really bad note, I, I lost Manny and was not happy. But I will tame another one. Um, I don't have any more kibble, unfortunately, so the tame's going to probably take a while. Unless I can find someone to trade for some stuff I have. I traded all my eggs, except for like one, to get that, so. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for joining and hope to see you again in the future.